Good morning. Um, let me start by saying how pleased I am to welcome uh, Igor Grossu, President of the Moldovan Parliament, to the House of European Democracy. This visit, like the many from both sides this and last year, underline the clear direction of our relations and the growing bond between us. This meeting today reinforces the message that Moldova is not alone. Moldova is Europe and Europe is Moldova. When uh, I addressed a crowd of some 80,000 people in Chisinau in May, I was impressed by the courage and the determination with which Moldovans have embraced a European course for the Republic of Moldova's future. I am equally encouraged by the pace with which you are moving forward on your reform path from our side. We welcome uh, the latest support package for the Republic of Moldova and your participation in EU programs such as Horizon and the Connecting Europe facility. We will continue to call for Moldova to have uh, uh, access to more progress and to have uh, uh, gradual integration into the single market. And we will also continue to support you through our parliament to parliament capacity building programs as we've seen this week uh, in this parliament. No doubt this autumn will be crucial for the Republic of Moldova and for Europe. I hope that we can have good news before the end uh, of the year and that uh, EU accession negotiations can start. Uh, dear Igor, our values are non-negotiable and we share the same outlook. We do not accept aggression. We do not accept intimidation. We fight disinformation and protect uh, the rules-based world order. We stand for freedom, sovereignty, and democracy. So the message from the European Parliament is as clear as unambiguous. If countries look to Europe, our door must remain open because enlargement is our strategic investment in security stability and prosperity on our European continent. It is a win-win process. Thank you. Igor, the floor is yours. Thank you. Dear Madam President Metsola, honorable audience, thank you for warm welcome at the European Parliament. For our delegation, it feels like home here. The Parliament of the European Union has always stood by the citizens of the Republic of Moldova by the democracy of our country, even in hardest times. The European Parliament has always a visionary approach, underlying repeatedly that the Republic of Moldova, together with other Eastern neighbors, must benefit from the provisions of Article 49 of the European Union Treaty, namely the right to become an EU member state sharing the Union's common values. Today, we are here in Brussels as a candidate country for the European Union membership. And the European Parliament was the first European institution that gave us the vote of confidence that serve us the incentive for the favorable decision taken afterward by the European Council. We received this signal as confidence with the highest responsibility all this year since we have become a candidate state for uh, the EU integration, we have worked hard to meet the expectations. With all my confidence, I can tell you that back home in Moldova, we are working full time in all the sphere to achieve those nine recommendations of the European Commission. The achievement of the recommendations comes in parallel with an extensive process of systematic reformation that we launched from the justice system reset and the diversification of energy sources to great to grid urban and rural infrastructure projects but these development efforts take place against the background of many unfavorable circumstances we are at the border with war in ukraine a roughless war stealing lives and destroying an entire country. We had to learn on the go how to host thousands of Ukrainian refugees, how to provide new routes for the transportation of goods, how to fight 
intensified fake news and propaganda, how to diversify the energy sources to break away from the dependence of the gas originating from the aggressor state. We need now more than ever the cohesion of the European member states because it is only with your support can Moldova and Ukraine can get closer to the free and prosperous world and can therefore become more resilient to aggression, to energy blackmailing and propaganda. We are still a very vulnerable country and we need all the political, financial and expertise support from the EU member states can provide. We would like, also like to strengthen the cooperation, in particular the sectorial one, with the European Parliament. In the accession process, we need your expertise and we are ready to collaborate on the committee platform with a view to achieve the harmonization with the European acquis in the best possible way. At the institutional level, our cooperation recorded promising results. In 2021, we signed the Memorandum of Understanding between our institutions. The Roadmap for Strengthening the Democracy in Moldova was approved. We conducted seminars and, uh, for uh, democracy support jointly by the uh, European Parliament and the Parliament of the Republic of Moldova as well as through Jean Monnet Dialogue for Peace and Democracy, by which the European Parliament is helping us to strengthen the inter-party communication and create consensus. Just the other day, the network United for Moldova was created, aiming to support the Republic of Moldova and its European aspiration. In this regard, I'd like to thank the member of the European Parliament who make up this committee, Andrius Kubilius, Siegfried Mureșan, Petras Austrevicius. I'm confident that this platform will help us keep Moldova on the agenda of the European states and promote the progress made by our country. The Moldovans have chosen the path, the European path, and this has been confirmed by thousands of citizens of the European Moldova Assembly Rally, where you also participated, Madam President Metzola, for which I am very grateful to you. Your support and the support of the European Parliament is a crucial cornerstone for our country. In the last two years, we have learned that we can only succeed with true friends and only a concrete assistance can enable us to become a genuine democracy and contribute to the development and strengthening of the European Union. I assure you that Moldova stepped firmly on the European path and the accession of the, to the European Union. It's a goal that we see clearly and that will be achieved without delay. On behalf of all the citizens of my country, thank you once again for your support. Thank you. Thank you.